If only it were as easy to do as to know what were good to do. I can easier teach 20 what were good to be done than to be one of the 20 to follow my own teaching. The brain may devise laws for the blood, but my hot temper leaps over a cold decree. But this reasoning is not the way to choose me a husband. Oh, me! The word choose. I may neither choose whom I would, nor refuse whom I dislike. So is the will of a living daughter curved by the will of a dead father. Is it not hard, Nerissa, that I cannot choose one, nor refuse none? Your father was ever virtuous, and holy men at their death have good inspirations. Therefore the lottery that he devised in these three chests of gold, silver, and lead will no doubt never be chosen by any rightly, but one who shall rightly love. But what warmth is there in your affection toward any of these princely suitors? I pray thee over name them, as thou namest them. I will describe them, and, according to my description, level at my affection. First there is the Neapolitan prince. His love of horses makes me wince. Then there is the county palatine. He doth not, but sit and whine. How say you by the French lord, Monsieur de Bonne? God made him, and therefore let him pass for a man. What say you to Falcon, the baron of England? If he spoke my tongue, then I might understand him. What think you of the Scottish lord, his neighbor? He's some sort of neighbor, borrows, never repays them. How like you the young German? The Duke of Saxony's nephew. Drunken sponge. He's a beast at his best, too. <laughs> you need not fear, lady, that having any of these lords, they have acquainted me with their determinations, which is, return to their home and to trouble you with no more suit, unless you may be won by some other sort than your father's imposition, depending on the caskets. If I were to live and be as old as Sibylla, I will die as chaste as Diana, unless I be obtained by the manner of my father's will. I am glad this parcel of wooers are so reasonable, for there is not one among them. Do you not remember in your father's time a Venetian scholar and a soldier that came here in the company yes. of the Mark? Yes, it was Bassanio, as I think he was called. True, madame. He, of all the men that ever my foolish eyes looked upon, was the best deserving a fair lady. I remember him well, and I remember him worthy of thy praise. 